We made it almost. Costco. Oh, you're my little happy nut? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so today we're going to be going to Costco in Shanghai, China. I have never been to Costco in China. I know it opened up a few years ago. The only thing I know about it is seeing some viral videos of people going crazy, pushing and shoving, but I'm curious to see what they have there. I didn't eat yet, so we're gonna hopefully get some lunch at Costco. I don't have much to shop for because we just live in a small apartment, but we do need toilet paper, so my goal is to get nice American toilet paper from Costco, and uh, that's the goal. Take a look and see what it's all about. Does our membership work there? What kind of stuff do they have there? How's, do they have food there? They got the hot dog, $1.50 with the soda? I don't know. We're gonna find out. So welcome to my first ever trip to Costco in China, baby. And if you're watching from YouTube and not watching the live stream, uh, I am streaming this, but we are also gonna turn this into a YouTube video for you guys. So for all the V Omega Lord D losers out there who don't watch live streams, uh, this one's for you, a little bit. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell and like and comment something about your, what do you like at Costco? I don't know, what do people do on YouTube? Whatever. Here's our, here's our premier car. Oh, my guy's wearing a suit right now. Let me get the door for you, young lady. Ow! The car to Costco, baby. Well, anyways, we are in the we're in our Costco taxi all the way to Costco now. And um, a couple missions for Costco is we want to see one, what kind of food they offer. Same stuff, hot dogs, drinks, dollar fifty, chicken bake, I don't know. Offer nothing, who knows? Second thing is, what do they offer there in general? It's like the same, pretty much same Kirkland stuff as in America, a lot of different stuff, I don't know. Hopefully we can get, get some nice bacon. If they got a Kirkland bacon, that'd be good. Third thing, that we don't need too much from Costco because we have like a small little apartment out here right now, but we do need toilet paper. So we're gonna see if they have some all-American, thick, two-ply toilet paper paper. I'm gonna buy a lot of things here. Water, are you excited about going to Costco in China? Yes. Me too, I can't wait to be at Costco. It's gonna be full of so many amazing things and food. What are you looking forward to see at Costco? Bacon. Bacon? I love bacon. You know what's the best kind of bacon? American bacon. American bacon. Nice and crispy. We made it almost. Oh Costco. Alright guys, we have made it to Costco in Shanghai, China. Let's go take a little peeky poo, huh? Chat, we are here at Costco China for the first time in the cafeteria. I know you guys are all wondering what is special at the Costco in China. I'm gonna tell you right now. We have a fruit oat yogurt cup. Maybe that's something we have in the US, I don't know. There we go, mushroom soup, 16 ounce. Chicken bake, bulgogi bake. Okay, we got the chicken bake and the bulgogi bake. Pizza, Beijing duck pizza. Yeah, Beijing duck pizza, let's get it. Are you kidding me? Wait, they have a curry beef pie. That might be the same. Do they have that in Japan? And spicy fried chicken. Oh, we're, we're trying everything. Now, this is very important. Hot dog and a drink in America is always $1.50. They've never changed the price. We got to look up how much is 10.9 RMB. $1.57. Avocado fruit salad. Most expensive thing. Here we go. Iced yeah, latte, latte. Americano. Oh, the latte is so cheap here. Yeah. Lychee Passion Fruit Smoothie. Earl Grey Milk Tea Soft Ice Cream. Holy mother. All right guys, first ever Chinese Costco food experience. Let's go. All right, let's try this out. Here we go. Um, sitting under the heat lamp for a bit, it's very, it has a lot of stuff on it though. It's like a little heavy, so it's a little doughy. More doughy than typical pizza. Not as greasy though as like the ones in the US. But this has a ton of stuff on here. Let's uh, check out our Beijing duck pizza. Oh god. Oh my god. Honestly, I don't like this too much. I I, I enjoy the, the, the thought. I like the fusion here at Costco China. They put Beijing duck pizza together. I, I like that. But this pizza doesn't really do for me. I appreciate it. I don't know if I'd, I, I want to try it again very fresh. I would give this pizza a 6 out of 10, this right now. 
I don't like it at all. Yeah. Had this By the way, total price for everything we had here, chat, was 90 RMB, which is about uh, thir 13, yeah, 13. about 12 dollars, 12 or 13 dollars. I'm gonna try the, the so mushroom good. soup next, it's very hot. which we definitely do not have it in America. I mean, it's basically just a creamy mushroom soup. Yeah, it's good. It's just a simple, good. simple creamy mushroom soup. I would give this a I don't know, 7.5, 8 out of 10. Now, next important thing that water liked was the beef curry pie. It's like a nice puff pastry with some beef curry inside. I'm so hungry. That's so bready. So good, right? The puff pastry is actually so flaky and buttery. This is awesome. I'll give this a 9 out of 10. This is a very... Not, not that healthy. Obviously, nothing here is really healthy, I guess. America. We have an exclusive uh, food review from Wawa for the curry pie. Let's take a look. All right, Water, can you give us a give us a review on what you think about this beef curry pie here at Costco in Shanghai, China? I'm bad at doing this, but it's really good. And, um, I enjoy eating this. Here we have the $1.50 hot dog and soda. Well, soda's over there. I got the relish, the onion mustard ketchup. I'm going to take one big bite of this bluesy and we're going to get it going, baby. Classic. I feel like I'm back home in America. That's a good bluesy. Not a big hot dog guy. For a classic hot dog, classic topping, solid 7.5 out of 10, which is good. Maybe even 8. Hot dogs to me are not that good. This is a solid all-American well, I don't know if it's all American, but it just tastes like home. Great solid hot dog, great bun. Let's give it a 7.5 out of 10. Good. We got the spicy fried chicken. If you guys don't know, a lot of actual fast food restaurants have spicy fried chicken, including McDonald's in China. It's really good. Got a chicken leg looking good, fresh out of the, uh, fresh out of the fryer. I'm gonna try to get one juicy bite and uh, see how it is. It looks great. Okay. Oh my god, that's a big bite. <laughs> I think this one might be the might be better than the one we had earlier. The chicken is well cooked, tender and juicy. The spices, the nice one is still burning a bit. It is too bready. The actual um, skin is just it's breaded too thickly. It's almost like a doughy breading that it's fried with. Compared to all the other spicy chicken that exists in China, which is like literally everywhere. This is not up there. Uh, it's, in my opinion, is a miss. I'll give it a five out of ten. It's good. It's okay, but it's just too doughy, too thick of the. Of the yeah, yeah. I would give it a five out of ten. All right, chat. The final thing we have to try here. This is the. I think it's. Was it a passion fruit lychee? Yeah. Lychee passion fruit slushy here. <laughs> My opinion on this is I think that the berry smoothie in America is better. This is just like a typical iced, or like a, you know, an icy it's good for you. drink. Lychee, a little overpowering, a little too sweet. Not my favorite, I'll give this a... Two. Hmm. No, it's not bad. I mean, it was a hot day, refreshing. It's just like it's a tip. Sweet. There's nothing special about it though, that's the thing. It's like a six yeah. out of ten. Fake lychee. Yeah, six, six out of ten. Dun 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 The wild world of Costco in Da Zhongguo. Now we're gonna head in, we're gonna go down every single aisle and see what the heck is China's Costco all about. Let's go. Sticky hooks guys, who who hasn't bought those from Costco? Oh my god, they, they got the Kirkland signature the pots one, and pans. Yeah, yeah, the set. Really? Oh, that's a nice seat. <laughs> yeah, we don't need that. Look at this, chat. Uh, it's Durian. From Thailand. From Thailand. Alright, look at this. They got Bolio here. Or Bolabao. Look at that, they got the freaking Bolabao here. 
the pineapple bread, even though it's not really made with pineapple. Ooh. Very lemon. Oh my god. Mm, that's good. I actually really like lemon cake a lot, so that's good. It's not my favorite. Oh, they're huge, like 10 inches. They're so long. Holy crap. We just, don't bring the chat. This place always asks because it's a refrigerator. Oh. Oh my god. Let's run away from this guy. He's so annoying. Look at Jake. <laughs> oh my god, this guy blocked. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Where is it? Oh! It's on sale. Uh, 49 RMB. Wow, that's pricey. So, guys, this is a great time to run you guys. So don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. I'm trying to be a real YouTuber. Hit the bell and tell me down below what was your favorite item that we ate at Costco today. Alright, what do we got here? Berry triple pick custard cream or cream puffs. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Chicken free puffs. Oh my god. Water look. Oh, abalone. Looks good. Ooh, fruit oat yogurt cup. Thank you. I got samples. We've been sitting there right. forever. Let's go. It's really good. Whoa, lemon chocolate cake. Ooh. Japanese style radish. Japanese style, careful, don't make people mad. Japanese on the internet. style. I love Costco and China. Oh my god. And ah. oh. oh. What the f is They have that? fish ma chicken soup. It's 40 bucks. You get a whole chicken, crab, a bunch of seafood, fish ma, noodles, veggies. That's crazy. That's crazy. It has this whole chicken inside. Yeah. And also abalone. Dude, what? It's like a bucket of laksa. What the wow. Dude, this is awesome. Wow, it's in a huge bag. This is the chicken. Rost roast rotisserie chicken. Oh. Jackpot. What? Oh, the toilet paper. Dude, how come no one's back here? These sections in America are always packed. No one poop? Is this Wait. too many? Wait, what is this? Paper towel. <laughs> That's a lot. But we could just freaking use it forever. Think about it. Think all the oh paper God. hoarding. Wait, you can is do. it recycled? Oh! oh! I found a secret! I think I made it. I noticed that it's not part of it, you're a napkin hoarder. I mean, I just always mess. The paper. We are now completing our mission in Costco to acquire the toilet paper. But the one problem we have is we're only in, like, I might be only in China for the next month or month and a half. I'm okay. Can you take a picture of me and my toilet paper? Oh my god, are you serious? This is Hormel bacon. It's not even the Costco bacon. It's so thick. It's, oh, it looks that's good. American. Looks good. I mean, Hormel is good. Hormel yeah, is good. It. Now, here's the question though. Because, you know, in China, all the bacon's always so flimsy and rubbery. I wonder if this is actually going to crisp up the. Chad, this is the bacon we got from Costco yesterday. Hey, go flat. See, you know? Look. I'm trying to find out if this is the real one, the crispy type. And this is the bacon I cooked. I mean, I'm good at making bacon. <laughs> what is that? What the fuck? <laughs> Stop! I'm calm, I'm human! <laughs> Oh my god, that's so good. My god, look what they have water. I didn't even need to bring them. You'll never believe it. Costco fucking white teas, dude. No way. Look at that. Just look at it. Water. They got the white teas. I don't wear white teas. Oh my god. These are the best white teas ever. Dude. Look, make life flavorful. <laughs> I mean, it's similar. <laughs> it's like a baby. It's truffle. Truffle flavored lace. Here's the pistachios. Yeah, it's got a happy, happy nuts in Chinese. Yeah, it's got a happy nuts in nice. Chinese. 
So sometimes you say cringe things about like uh, you're you're my kai uh, happy nuts in Chinese. Is oh. this? Oh, you're my little happy nut. Yeah, like oh, you make me happy. You're my little like happy that. nut. Yeah. Oh, you make me a little happy nut. You give me no, such you happy are nuts. the no, you are the ha happy nut. I'm a happy nut. Yeah. Oh, you make my nuts happy. That? No, wrong. It's just okay. It's, it's nothing about the English nuts. Okay, it's just a Chinese thing that you can see. It smiles at you. Yeah, it's like, like smiling. A, yeah, it's like a little happy, happy face. It means you make someone happy. Does nut in Chinese no, also mean No, nothing cumin? at all. No, okay. Cumin? No, nuts doesn't mean balls in Chinese. We should change that. No, we shouldn't. Final pickup. We got, of course, the all-American bath tissue. Boom. We got the towel. You know what it is. American bacon. Yes, sir. Pads. Quality over quantity. Pads. Floss, you know what it is. <laughs> Delicious Japanese one. snackies, a bunch of eggs, it's blueberries, like bananas. Of course, you can't go to Costco without getting a rotisserie chicken for five bucks and our leftover samples. I would call that a big win. Okay, chat. The moment of truth. Will our executive membership card work here? To be honest, I don't think so. <laughs> hey, Ma. Oh, yes. Oh, it worked. Let's go. Oh, Globo. Wow, I can't believe it's working! Hundred dollars. Let's go. Dude, I freaking love Costco, man. Well, you never only spend one hundred dollars seeing a, Costco. Yeah, that's rare. Never. Costco is like a three hundred dollar minimum trip. Right. Congrats. How was your first experience? Great. Uh, first experience in Costco China. Honestly, it was nice. It's very clean. It's like just like what I thought it would be. Okay. Uh, Fair. Even better. Uh, the food was surprisingly good. I don't know, I really like it. This is a cool experience. Mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. feels like I'm literally just in any Costco. Right. They did Good. a great Good job, job of localization. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that concludes our Costco run out here in Shanghai, China. My first time ever. Yes, we got the all American toilet paper. Yes, we got the bacon. We got to see some of the goods they had there. And uh, yeah, some of the good food as well. So it was a very fun experience, to be quite honest. And uh, will I come back? Maybe if I run out of bacon.